Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Muslim scholars are completely confused regarding the second coming of the Messiah. Some say that he will be a prophet and messenger, while others say that Allah would, God forbid, remove his prophethood. Now, these are the world's leading Muslim scholars, and they cannot come to an agreement. In this video, we hear Zakir Naik lie against the Quran and Hadith, and he says that the latter day Messiah will not not be a messenger of God, then we will hear his own friend and scholar Asim al-Hakim expose this false idea that when the latter day Messiah comes, he would God forbid lose his prophethood. It is clear from the Quran and Hadith that Hazrat Isa has died a natural death and will never return and the latter day Messiah would be someone from among the Muslims and he would be a subordinate prophet. He would not bring a new religion, rather he would be a follower of Hazrat Muhammad wasallam. He would still be an Ummati Nabi as prophesied. You said the final messenger is Muhammad Abi. Again that Jesus Christ will become no. In the second coming he will not get any new message. Messenger means to get some message. He will not come as a Rasul. He will not come as a Rasul. He will come to testify to the Christians and never claim divinity. He will not get a new message. The message that he got the Injil was there about 2000 years back. That has been corrupted. Now Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came. So even Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, when he comes back, he will follow the message of the Quran and the message of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But the question is, will he come as a prophet? or an ummati of Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. Well, once you're a prophet, you're a prophet for life. So if he was a messenger and a prophet of Allah, like 2000 years ago, when he comes after so many years, he would still be a prophet and a messenger of Allah. He will not come as a Rasul. We begin with the view of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself. What did he say about the Latter Day Messiah? This hadith is from Sahih Muslim. In this hadith, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stated that the Latter Day Messiah would be a prophet of Allah. In fact, he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam repeated himself four times. The second hadith is from Abu Daud and in this hadith, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam calls the Latter Day Messiah a prophet of Allah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said that recognize him, meaning it won't be the same Messiah of 2000 years ago who you will see physically coming down from the heavens. If that was the case, the Prophet would never say, recognize him. Everyone would accept him right away. This prophecy shows that the Latter Day Messiah would be someone from the Ummah and this is supported by Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim in which the Prophet wasallam said that he would be Imamukum Minkum, an Imam from among yourselves. Then in a Hadith of Tabarani, the Prophet wasallam called the Latter Day Messiah a Nabi and a Rasul. मैंने अपने जवाब में दो बातें कही थी एक इमाम आ गया है हमने पहचान लिया दूसरा ईसा अलैहि सलाम फौत हो गए ठीक है ना नबूवत का जिक्र नहीं किया क्यों नहीं किया मैं आपको बताता हूं इसलिए कि नबूवत के बारे में हमारा इख्तिलाफ है ही नहीं ये सारे मौलवी झूठा प्रोपेगेंडा कर रहे हैं उसकी वजह ये है आप इनसे पूछ के देख लें किसी मस्जिद में चले जाएं आप इनसे पूछें कि आ हजरत सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम के बाद क्या दुनिया में कभी कोई नया या पुराना नबी कहीं नहीं आएगा रसूल सल्लम के विसाल के बाद क्या दुनिया में किसी खत्ते में कहीं भी ना कोई नया नबी आएगा ना कोई पुराना नबी आएगा ये बताओ वो कहेंगे नहीं पुराना आ सकता है नया नहीं आ सकता मुहम्मद रसुल्ला से पहले का नबी दोबारा आ सकता है यही उनकी बदनीयती है जिसकी वजह से ईसा को जिंदा बनाया हुआ है अब उनसे आप पूछें कि तुम तो कहते थे उम्मत मोहम्मद रसुल्ला पर नबूत खत्म हो गई 
تو اب کہتے ہو پرانا نبی دوبارہ آئے گا اگر ضرورت نہیں تھی نبوت کی تو لائق ہو جائے گا وہ کہیں گے اسی لیے زندہ رکھا ہوا ہے کہ رسول اللہ علیہ وسلم کے آنے سے نبوت تو ختم ہو گئی نبوت کی ضرورت ختم نہیں ہوئی یہ کسی معقول آدمی کو قابل قبول ہے ہی نہیں کیونکہ اللہ تعالیٰ پر حملہ اس کی حکمت پر حملہ ہے کوئی آدمی کہہ دے کہ روٹی کی ضرورت ہے وہ روٹی کی سپلائی بند اب یہ بڑا ظلم ہے روٹی کی ضرورت ہے سپلائی بند کہتے ہیں ہم بیک ڈور سے لے آئیں گے فکر نہ کرو کوئی محبول بات ہے بس فرق صرف یہ ہے ہم کہتے ہیں ضرورت ہے کہتے ہیں یہ بھی کہتے ہیں ضرورت ہے ہم کہتے ہیں فرنٹ ڈور سے روٹی آئے گی محمد رسول اللہ کی امت سے وہ پیدا ہوگا جس کو خدا تعالیٰ نبوت کی ضرورت پوری کرنے کے لیے امت محمدیہ میں بھیجے گا یہ کہتے ہیں فرنٹ ڈور باندھا ہے بیک ڈور سے ہوگی پرانے نبی کو لایا جائے گا اور امت مسوی کے نبی کو امت محمدیہ کا نبی بنایا جائے گا نبوت کا انکار ہے ہی نہیں امت موسفی کے نبی کو امت محمدیہ کے نبی بنایا جائے گا ہم کہتے ہیں امت محمدیہ کے غلام محمد کو امت محمدیہ کے نبی بنایا جائے گا یہ فرق ہے اس لیے ختم نبوت والا وہ عقیدہ بالکل جھوٹا پیش کیا جا رہا ہے آپ اس کی تصدیق کر کے دیکھ لیں ہر جگہ آپ کو یہ جواب ملے گا اگر آپ کہیں گے کہ نبوت پرانا نبی بھی نہیں آ سکتا تو آپ کو کہیں گے تم کافر ہو بھاگو یہاں سے اور پاکستان میں ہو تو بھاگو نہیں مار بھی پڑ سکتی ہے شکریہ If you have not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notifications for every new video. Also make sure to like and comment on the video and follow on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs>